Welcome to a brand new series. I like to call uh, something from Sonic Team. Sega. Yes, it is. Well, I'll watch this uh, little opening clip first because I think it really sets the mood for everything. Oh, nice peaceful city. The thrilling processing power of the Sega Dreamcast. Dim Naomi graphics. I will admit this does look good for early 2000s. 1998. 1998. Never mind. Flooding. Sonic Adventure! <laughs> he flooded the city! Oh. Nothing may make sense now, but it will make sense later, everything that's happening. <laughs> what, the world being destroyed? Armageddon? Yes. Like I said, everything will make sense soon. L later. Eventually. Probably. Hold out much longer. I will never let go. I know it's a one way trap. Tell me Saturday morning cartoon activated. Uh, sorry, I really enjoyed the soundtrack. It's one of my favorite soundtracks in. Any Sonic game, at least. Isn't that just a common thing with Sonic games? Like, the music's really good, even if the gameplay sucks. Yeah, but the music hasn't been being good lately. But the gameplay has gotten better. And then we look at Sonic Boom and then laugh to ourselves. Uh, well, uh, all that aside, welcome to Let's Play Sonic Adventure. This is uh, my favorite Sonic game of all time, and I don't give a shit what anybody says. Good. I really, really don't. Good, <laughs> because you might have to hear it from me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Select a memory card. Oh, wow. I love the VMUs. They were so innovative for the time, Select weren't they? The yeah. I mean, I haven't had a Dreamcast for long, but the games I actually had for it, stuff happened on those little screens. Yeah, all right, so... The way Sonic Adventure goes is that we have uh, six playable characters, but we can only start with Sonic first, as how it normally goes. Each has their own style of gameplay, so we'll check out Sonic's uh, style first. Check out the instructions. Let's get him. Oh, this is back with the old Sonic actor. Mm -hmm. Ryan Drummond. No, wait. Did I get that right? Post-text, is it right? Boom. All right. So, Sonic is just your basic... Average action stage is just like how every other Sonic game has gone since then. Let's get to the end and go fast. This so where let's they, get started. Is this where they introduced the homing attack? Yes. And this is the best in British of the homing attack. That I'll show off why probably later. Why does Sonic need a homing attack? Well, I find it's a way to make him go fast quickly. And it also locks us onto enemies and all that shit. Well, it probably helps in this 3D environment, if anything. Yeah, it does. So, Station Square, nice city, a helicopter, and a... whatever that is. And here's our main man! <gasps> <laughs> Sounds like a squeaky toy! Prepare to laugh. Oh, yeah. Whoa! This is happening! Huh? Attitude! No, this game hasn't aged very well, but again, I don't care, because that's kind of the charm of this. This is what I like to call Modern Legacy Sonic. Because it's not quite Modern Sonic, but it's not quite the old Sonic either. It's a wonderful period in between where... I don't know, it's just really fun. It's like the Attitude Era in WWE. Started with this weird-looking thing. You are completely surrounded! <laughs> Surrender yourself! <laughs> Why are they after this thing? I don't know. It's trying to Probably. talk to them, saying, Please, I just got lost! I come in peace! Fire! <laughs> he looks different than us! Shoot him! I do. But... <gasps> it's ineffective! Guys, he looks like he's made of water. What's wrong with you? He is made of water. God, I'm good. You are good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Attitude. 
Alright, it's been a few years since I've played Sonic Adventure, so uh, hopefully I can get used to the controls again. And again, I have a hard time holding a Dreamcast controller nowadays. Well, it was a weird controller anyway. Nowadays with the DualShock 4 feeling so comfortable in my gigantic ape hands. Yeah! The idea with this is just uh, home attack into his big dumb head. Does he attack you at all in this fight? Oh yeah, he does. Yes, wow, he, yes, he does. Yes, he does. In fact... No! Ah! <laughs> Perfect! I'm an expert! Good job! Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go for real this time. Here's the tutorial for you, because you died in the opening fight. Yep. Alright, so hits. basically hit him before he starts attacking. Got it. Yeah, three hits does it, but uh, on the second hit, he jumps up into these streetlights and he throws his limbs at you and tries to hit you. But keep moving around, he just does that, and you can hit him in for the... Well, you should hit him in for the third well, hit, and there you go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. I mentioned on Twitter, I've been playing this game for 15 years, and uh, I've, I've been having a lot of problems that I've never had. Ever. Well, it comes with age, and I really like that theme that happens whenever you beat a level. So, But, but uh, don't worry, this is still going to be a fun run. It's... it's Come on, you big we're going to have drip. fun here. Where you going? And also, this is my favorite uh, voice of Dr. Eggman as well. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. I've seen a little bit of this game. Haven't seen it all, but I have at least seen some. You know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of this world. No. Hear that laugh. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he encapsulates the the Robotnik persona perfectly, you know. Mad evil genius scientist, kind of crazy, still intelligent, you know. It really, really, really works. I will say though, the guy after him does a fantastic job and still does a fantastic job. Mike Pollock does really good too. But Sonic decided to forget about that whole thing and just took a nap. Hey, I got a distraction. Yeah, forget about it. Huh? <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Tails? Trick riding. Infamous Watch moment out. here. You're gonna crash. Ah! <clears throat> Boom. Tails. Now, oh, what am I gonna do with you? Oh well, I guess he's dead. No, of course not. We gotta go save him now. Da 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 da. Oh. Hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey. Sorry, let's get our let's get our first action stage underway. You, Emerald Coast. You, Everyone loves this stage. You just fell out of the out of the stage. I just noticed you fell through the ground. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of weird glitches. Oh, good. That's, that's gonna make this uh, run so special, though. But yeah, let's do this. Look. Now, I will say, the way this stage starts, I really like because it literally starts from where you stopped at that last cutscene. Yep. So, that's really cool. Alright. I know this stage like the back of my hand. Well, good. So let's, uh, let's do this. You gonna show yeah. off any shortcuts, or just the regular path? I'm just gonna play my, my darndest. That's all I can do. That'll work. How do you do the spin dash thing? Uh, you hold X. There, there'll be, uh, improvements to the spin dash later on. Okay. Another iconic scene is coming up here with the whale. Oh, you mean the one they stole from Sonic 06? Clearly. Exactly. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> and uh, this has never happened before. What? What? Oh, this is Sonic 06. Let's try again. The thing <laughs> wow. is, though, when I the thing is though, when I die in this game, I'm not angry. Yeah. When I die in Sonic 06, I'm very angry. Well, I think it's more you're confused, because that was bullshit. That was an I automatic segment. You also notice that this game handles very, very slippery compared to Sonic 06. Because mm -hmm. when you play Sonic 06, it's like you're playing in molasses. Everything's just so slow. But here, it really feels fast and... Whoa! <laughs> Whatever! Okay, were... anyway. That wasn't supposed to happen. Nope. So, second part. Oh, seamless transition. I was actually expecting a loading screen. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this, is, uh, uh, this is a good console, a good uh, Sonic game we're talking about here. Ah, shit, I missed that. Aw, oh, boo. 
Now, I have noticed the Dreamcast doesn't really take much to load, does it? Uh, compared to everything else, not really. Of course, then again, this was the definitive Dreamcast game, and I think the Dreamcast version is the best version. The GameCube version's fine and all, and I'm, yeah, it's great, it added all that stuff, and- oh! Whoa, Nelly! No! <laughs> I'm glad they added all the extra stuff, but I don't know, it just feels better on a Dreamcast. I was, about, I, mean? I was about to ask you if you actually had the GameCube version, because didn't the second game come out in the GameCube, too? Yes, and, uh, you guessed it, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 will follow this Let's Play, but it'll be the GameCube version, because I think the GameCube version is the best version of Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. Just because it has everything unlocked automatically that you'd have to arduously get A ranks on everything before you could get most of the content. Oh, Kind of dumb. But this game just feels better on the Dreamcast, because it was made for the Dreamcast, you know? So, with Sonic 2006... Whoa, hello. whoa, 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 whoa! Hello, oh, hello! Alrighty then. So, uh, Sonic 06, it tried to replicate this? Yeah. It didn't work. No, no, it didn't, because it didn't have the speed. It, it felt like Sonic was always at a brisk running speed, you know? Well, that's like, probably like because was... they didn't want the game to break anymore. Or because they can't load the level fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast! Hold on! Sonic Unleashed was supposed to be Sonic Adventure 3, but then they decided to add in the Werehog elements. And Which, that... again, for the record, I liked Sonic Unleashed for the PS3 360. Uh, uh, whoa. I don't know, I guess I, tol I can tolerate <laughs> shitty Sonic games more than most people. It's because you're a Sonic fan. You tolerate a lot. Not bad. And it's this one is my favorite. Yeah, you can tell how good I am at it. Yeah, gotta go fast. <laughs> so, all right. I think I will have fun with this because I'm not playing, and I think I would get really frustrated with this. So we're we're good. Again, I I, I have fun with this. I don't get angry when I die and you know I get fucked out of the life because I'm just glad you're okay. You got fucked out of three lives. I should mention. Do I have nostalgia glasses on? Probably. But again, I'm having fun. Which is the big difference between this and Sonic 06 and even Shadow the Hedgehog in some parts. Oh my gosh, is this Tails theme? I wanna fly! I love the character songs. <laughs> it adds personality to the game, you know? But why that song? I even know the lyrics! <laughs> This is yep. the and only the start so for me. me. Did they actually get a kid to voice Tails? So yes, they did. So it's it's not just a, a, a girl or a, or a high-pitched guy. It is it is actually a boy. I think he's like 8 or 9 or 11 or something. And they can definitely tell the microphone's a bit muffled. So, Tails has something he wants to show us. He uses Chaos Emerson's power as playing. Now we're going to go to his workshop in the Mystic Ruins to see what he wants to show us. So we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 1, I guess. Okay. Okay.